power factor is a measure of how effectively and efficiently AC power is used in electric circuits. It's often depicted with this triangle here. And this triangle indicates a ratio between real power, the power that actually does any work, and the apparent power, which is the total power which is supplied to the circuit. It's a relatively simple concept. It's about saving power in an installation. So I've got an analogy here. Basically, if you've got a poor power factor, you're using more energy than you need to. And so imagine there's more to your work there than installation and testing of electrical equipment. You have other things you have to do to get to work. You need to get to and from work. You need to go to the wholesalers to get parts. This all takes time. But if we just calculated the actual time doing electrical work, we could plot that as a horizontal line. Now, if we calculate the time and money we spent actually getting to work, we could represent that as a vertical line. Now, this time getting to work is not directly led to the completion of any of your jobs for the day. It's just purely getting to and from work. Now, you may think, well, that's wasted time. So when we come to calculate the total work day, we need to combine the two, don't we? The actual work we've done and the obstacles that have gotten our way. Now, we would like to be prepared for that time, wouldn't we? This would be our apparent time at work. That would work for us. Your boss doesn't want to pay for this apparent work or time because it's more money. But he does need to correct this. So to cut down on a waste of time getting to work on the bus, he buys you a van. So measures have been taken to correct this apparent time. By enabling you to get to work quicker, you will be able to spend more time on producing real work. So we have less wasted energy. We're not using so much energy getting to work. That will mean costs are lower and efficiency is increased. This is the basic concept of your power factor. Now the power in an electric circuit can be impeded from doing its work by the properties of that circuit. This impedance to current flow is caused by resistance, inductive and capacitive loads. And it's the inductive and capacitive loads that cause what's known as reactive power. This reactive power can actually increase current use, but that current is not directly involved in any actual electrical work. And because you're drawing more current than you actually need to, your installation and the supplier's infrastructure are going to need to be more robust, and that costs, so you get fined. So it's very much in companies' interests to correct their power factor. This is part one. I'm going to get into a lot more detail in the next one. But thanks for watching, and as always, keep safe.